Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aquarius? I hope you guys are doing amazing. How is this full moon uh, that just recently passed treating you? For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. For those of you guys that have been here for quite a while, welcome again, my lovelies. I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get the updates of the newest videos coming up as we have a ton of new videos coming through, not just for readings, but spell work as well. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. One more shuffle here. Okay, let's get into your reading. Now, the first card here in regards to communication, we have the Tower card. What is going on, you guys? We have been having the, I think I got the Tower for communication for three other signs. So there is definitely some type of conscious uh, connection that we are experiencing right now. There is a lot of, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be a bit of a revelation coming to you in regards to, uh, this could be someone coming towards you, revealing something to you, hearing some type of news. I don't feel that it's going to be directly impacting you, although, however, it is having to do with those around you. So um, the tower doesn't necessarily have to be negative. It just represents uh, having the need to break a certain foundation in order to be able to start building on a stronger foundation. This is kind of like um, something sudden and quick that comes in. And because it is in the communication sector, uh, it could represent uh revelation, a news, something that's coming to you that you're going to be hearing about in the month of April. Now, in regards to your finances and career, you have the 10 of wands. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of, you may be feeling a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities that you're currently dealing with. This can also represent almost the feeling of a bit of chaos happening. This is people either relying too much on you, expecting too much from you. Uh, this can also represent feeling a bit overburdened. Um, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys have been taking on uh, very proactive roles, even if you are a manager, even if you are of higher authority in the business or career that you do. It's almost like you are not afraid to get your hands dirty. Um, and you're really putting in that that work the way everyone else is collectively. So again, I feel that there is going to be a bit of a shakeup in regards to your career or in regards to your finances. Let's see what is other unfolding here. Okay, so the obstacle to overcome is the moon card. And the moon card is almost, um, there are certain things that are not being completely out in the open. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be the revelation that they're talking about could be news in regards to someone that works with you or in the workplace. Um, there is illumination, and I feel that for this passing full moon that we experience, you may have noticed a bit of like really dealing with pressure. This could be deadlines. This could be, like I said, people relying too much on you. Um, but the moon card as an obstacle is listening to your intuition Aquarius is going to be very important if there is and and this is a message that I'm getting if for some of you there is a situation that comes up in the month of April where there is some type of like a person's character is going to come into question or their motives is going to come into question pay attention to that red flag do not ignore it. Do not make exceptions because it's people that you consider friends or perhaps you hang out with on a personal level. Do not allow this um, to just fly by because I feel that if you do, there could be repercussions that later on you find out that this person wasn't being completely honest or trustworthy, especially if we're talking about money. For some of you guys, it could be revelations about finding out 
that there's been someone in the workplace or in your career um, that has been mishandling some type of finances or mishandling um, something that has to do with the workplace, whether it be products, whether it be um, taking things for their personal gain. I feel that the veil is coming, you know, it's, it's opening up and you're being able to see clearly and concisely what's been going on. For a lot of you guys, I feel that deception is at bay. Um, and again, if you are in a situation in the month of April where you feel uh, like you are being put in a position where you have to take a side, do not be loyal to a person that you feel you're connected to but don't necessarily genuinely know them. Because I feel that your loyalty can come back around and bite you in the ass. So pay attention to that. Now, in regards to emotions and your love life, you have the Queen of Wands here. So the Queen of Wands could represent a fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of individual. It doesn't have to be a female. It is a general um, reading. So it could represent mo both male or female. Um if you are dealing or casually dating uh, this individual, there is going to be news coming to you in regards to this person that could have been dealing with two people, meaning you and someone else. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, this is going to come as a surprise or this is going to come out of like you were definitely not expecting this. Um, I feel that if you've been dealing with this person for quite a while, there was almost a feeling of like really putting the effort and the energy towards making this, wanting to make this connection work out. But I feel that they were, it's kind of like they were coming in and they were going out. They weren't really 100% in it. And the reason for it is because with the moon card, I'm seeing both the, the dogs here it's almost like they were allowing you to think that they were taking this connection or this relationship serious or walking towards some type of goal. But in reality, they were double dealing. They weren't being honest. And I feel that for some of you guys, this could be the news that you're getting in the month of April. Um, and it's almost like I, I'm hearing rumors. Um, if you've been dealing with this or you've been dealing with people coming to you and telling you that the person you're dealing with hasn't been be, hasn't been completely honest. Uh, what they're saying here is pay attention to your intuition. If it feels off, it is off Aquarius. Uh, that's a huge flag because they're telling me it's like repetitive. Um, pay attention to the signs or pay attention to the information that is coming through. With the tower, there's definitely going to be something uh, revealing that is... Uh, an upheaval, something that's been already, you've been intuitively picking up on, uh, but it's finally coming to the forefront in the month of April. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a fire energy that uh, made promises or uh, assured you that they would help you or that they would be providing some type of assistance in regards to your career, in regards to your finances. Uh, this could have been like a manager or someone um, of higher standing that was making it seem as if they would be helping out in some way uh, and they dropped the ball. And the reason why they're dropping the ball is because they're what, they weren't true towards their promise or their commitment um, for some of you guys, it could have been that this person was intentionally trying to sabotage you. Uh, if you've been working on a project, do not allow, do not allow yourself to rely on other people because I feel that someone purposely will be dropping the towel. Um, and the reason for this, uh, is because they're trying to self-sabotage you or your reputation, Aquarius. So pay attention to that. Now, Spirit's message here is, yeah, there's a need for balance. There is a need to um, learn to really pay attention to the signs is what they're telling me. 
it's almost like for some of you guys, you've been experiencing a lot of difficulties in your in regards to your finances. It's almost like a feeling of trying to make uh, ends meet. It's almost like having the way money comes in, it goes out, that type of energy. For some of you guys, this could represent having the need to do a cleansing to be able to remove those blockages because I do see and I do feel people around you um, that are not necessarily positive, yet they surround themselves around you or try to make it seem like they want the best for you but in reality they're kind of in the back over here trying to throw you off something that has to do uh with you either trusting or relying on someone and they're purposely dropping the ball uh because they don't want you to ascend they don't want you to grow or they don't want you to move forward um so again, there is a need to create balance. If you feel you're very in balance right now, Aquarius, and, and this is what I'm feeling, almost like you are being pulled towards many directions in your career sector. There's a lot of stress going on right now. When you get home, it's almost like you need a way or you're seeking a way of like some type of escapism uh, because it's too much for you to deal with. But then you get home and you have other responsibilities and it's like responsibilities on top of responsibility. And it's almost like, when do I get a break type of energy? And what they're telling you here is there is a need for you to either prioritize or do time management with your time uh, because there's certain things that you're missing the mark on. And the reason for it is because you're finding yourself not having, um, like I said, you're missing the mark because you're not paying a lot of attention or you're not paying close attention to the small details. And it has a lot to do with the fact that there's a lot on your plate right now. So again, balance is going to be very important for you, Aquarius, if you run your own business or if you, um, you know, have a higher position and you're working with other people that you have to learn to rely on uh, and, and you're used to getting to the needy greedy, meaning you don't mind getting your hands dirty. There is a need for you to pull away from that energy so that you can be able to really see clearly and concisely those that are really putting the effort, those that are going above and beyond, because I feel that for some, there could be people around you in your workplace that feel not appreciated. It's almost like they're really putting the effort and someone, uh, this queen of wands here, is almost like they are either taking their, kind of like making it seem like they're the ones that are putting that effort, but in reality, they're not. There's other people around that are making things happen. Um, and when we go to work and we feel that we're not being appreciated, what happens? We don't want to put more extra work or extra effort into it. So again, you don't want, there's a need for you to take a step back, a moment to breathe and to really see things for what they really are. So again, if you're running your own business, pay close attention to details, how money is being uh, coming in and going out. Pay attention to the people that are working in certain shifts that you need to be paying attention to because someone will purposely or is purposely going to be dropping the ball and it's going to directly affect you for the month of April. Okay, let's see what spirits direct messages for Aquarius for this month of April 2021. The general message is what I'm hearing is, you know, don't rely on people 100% Aquarius because if given the opportunity for someone to drop the ball, they're going to do it because it's not going to fall on them. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to detail. Okay. And the message here is the thinking man. So again, we're talking about really being in your head. Uh, this is really taking some time. I see you guys being a bit confused, a bit exhausted. Um, it could be that there's a lot of responsibilities at work um, and then you start to hear rumors or uh, information that starts to reveal itself in regards to a person that you were dealing with. This has you all in your head. I see you guys being very confused or not knowing exactly what to do. When we don't know exactly what, what we need to do, sometimes it's necessary to pull our energy back and just let things unfold, especially if it's things that you feel are not on your in your control. Uh, the best thing you can do is get out of your own way and just say, you know, 
spirit revealed to me and let things unfold the way they're supposed to. Um, thinking or overanalyzing or overstressing is not really going to help you. So again, try the best you can to find some time to try to find the balance in your life, to prioritize, to, you know, time management um, so that there is no, you know, no basically counting your ducks in a row um, because it would be a, you know, a shame if you're relying on someone that you trust and they let you down completely and it doesn't affect them, it affects you. So pay attention to that for this month of April, Aquarius. I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of understanding, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.